So you now purchased the sole laser, so we're going to start with the unpack by opening it up. And the contents in here, you'll find a clear plastic wrap. And inside here, it gives you all the explanations of what we're going to cover in today's video. Certainly, if you have any other questions, they can be answered in here. It does tell you a little bit about the standard warranty that it comes with and also some additional savings and offers you can have for it. There is a danger sign in here as well. This is for your operatories or in the hallway, just to let your patients and other people know that you are using a laser and to use caution with those so that you have that. So these are both in here. You're also going to find a set of keys, which are very important. So we're going to set those aside just for a second. And we're going to start to unpack your laser. So here is the unit itself, the way that this looks here. We also have some sheaths that go over the handpiece. We have the AC adapter in here, a set of tips for you, and also your foot pedal. And then underneath here, you will find your safety glasses. The standard that's three that come with all of Denmat's lasers, one for the doctor, one for the patient, one for the assistant. All right, so in here we are going to plug in our AC adapter cord that plugs in the back here. and then this plugs into the wall. We also have our foot pedal, which plugs into the back. And then you can take the foot pedal at whatever area you want it to go and unravel that. The keys, as we spoke of, one goes in the back. This is for your security automatic shutoff. Let me just show you, you can see here, the key would fit in and you just basically, a lot of offices just leave that in there so that they always know where they are. And there is also the on-off switch. So this light is flashing on here. So let me just get this, all this stuff out of the way here. So now we'll take our tips. When they come standard, So, and this actually comes unraveled from the side here. This is the cable. But what I want to point out on this first is to be very careful with this cable and you want to wrap it exactly as it says on the cable here, which will show you, and how this actually goes together and how this is wound. So, be very careful because this is a glass fiber that produces that thermal uh, energy in the tip or in the, into the tip to make it, to allow it to cut. And if for any reason this gets broken, it does render this not usable until you replace the cable. We're then going to slip this inside just like this. And you certainly have sheets that you can put on before that we include in here for uh, a sepsis. So we'll just put this on beforehand. We're not ready to go. So let's look at the face of this. So it tells you that it is charging when it's flashing green. Okay, so we have the key turned on and it reads that we're at 0.8 settings so that you know on here. Now, if you wanna change any of these, you have custom, debride, perio, and cut on here. If you do select any of these, like for example, perio, we would have to hit uh, the green each time and it will give you a little activation letting you know that that's uh, been selected and that we're in pulsed mode. This also controls the, light, or the volume. You can either turn it on or turn it off and this controls the light. There is five settings for the light. Let's going back here to where it's charging. It's a nice solid green uh, but if I were to disconnect this after it's been fully charged I will get about three hours of use out of this and it will turn amber when it's 40 percent of the way full and then it will turn to red when it only has 20% left in the battery and that's when it needs to be plugged in again. So now that we've selected Perio, you can see Perio is highlighted here also. If I wanted to switch it to a cutting mode, I would then just have to remember to hit this green button and it will give me that nice beeping noise letting me know that that was selected and the blue aiming beam that's on here. So the blue aiming beam just lets us know that it's ready to go and all we have to do now is initiate the tip and depress the foot pedal and we're ready to move forward with our laser procedure. Certainly, if you have any other questions, you can contact us here at Denmat, and we'll be happy to answer any of your questions. And you're ready to get started with your laser.